Today we have the latest device from Realme, the 7 5G, which is a budget play as you would probably expect knowing the brand. This one here is expected to come in below $300 USD. Now the event hasn't taken place at the time that I'm filming this, the announcement for this device. So it could change a little bit, but I've been told it's gonna drop for somewhere under 300 bucks. And as usual, you're gonna be examining this spec sheet and you might be surprised at what you can end up with for that particular price point. So I have two colors in front of me here, mist blue and silver. It's got the Dimensity 800U 5G chip from MediaTek. It's also got some fast charging in there, 30 watt dart charge and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That's kind of a bonus, a plus. It has a 120 Hertz ultra smooth display, 120 Hertz display under 300 bucks. I believe this is the first time I've ever seen that. And then it's also got a 48 megapixel AI quad camera. So let's crack into both of these and catch a glimpse at the two different color options. So fast charge, big battery, 120 Hertz display. I have to think this would be a popular choice for media consumption because you got the battery life and then to go with it, you got the, the displays, maybe even a little gaming. I don't know, we might have to boot up a game. We'll see how that goes. All right, welcome to the Realme family. And as is usual here, we're getting the extras right away, including a case to get you started when you purchase the device. You see this more frequently for some reason in the budget devices where it's a very aggressive marketplace and they gotta do every, every bit of extra to keep your business. They're gonna include a case so you can protect your device straight out the gate. It's also a little bit of paperwork in there. And then here are the two phones. So first up, that looks to me like the silver. And on the other side, we have the mist blue. And so let's go ahead and just remove the plastic wrap here. And this sticker, oh, I remember this blue. This is a nice sort of gradient. It's one of the things they do well. They give you these unique colors and, and they tend to shift depending on the reflection of the light. Well, this one starts out with a kind of light blue up along the top and then fades into an almost black down at the bottom. The whole thing has a brushed or almost matte kind of finish to it. So it should be fairly resistant to fingerprints. I always pay attention to that, especially with the glossy backs that you see on so many devices out there. Here you can see the camera module, which outlines 48 megapixels. There are, of course, a number of different camera units represented there. On the bottom of the device, you have your USB type C connector to use that 30 watt dart charge as well as a headphone jack. So dedicated 3.5 if you wanna use a wired connection. We have our fingerprint scanner inside the power switch. So you have this little recess and I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been uh, you know, recently using a phone that only has face unlock and with uh, the current state of the globe and wearing the mask, it's a bit annoying, especially for mobile payments, since you have, you know, you're wearing the mask. Well, this is just a very comfortable fingerprint unlock. And to be honest, I kind of miss having a fingerprint unlock on the phone. So this one is inside of the power switch. Volume buttons are over on the other side of the device. SIM card tray is there. And I can tell straight away that we have a hole punch set up for the front facing selfie camera, which is up in the top corner there, which is probably my favorite implementation. I don't know, I go back and forth on this. Sometimes the center one gets me because it's a little more symmetrical, but from a practical perspective, to have it in the bottom corner disrupts your video just a little bit less. So that is the mist blue. Next up, we have the silver model. And ooh, my goodness, this one is somehow a little more flashy with the large Realme logo, which also reflects light in different ways. It's very, very silver. It's super silver. So if you're looking for something maybe a little flashier, to be honest, then this is probably what you would select. Uh, otherwise, if you're more subdued or subtle like me, you might reach for the blue. Also inside the package, we of course have our power brick over here. And as mentioned, that's a 30 watt power brick. Plus there's also your USB type C to A cable that you'll use to charge this up. 
That's the biggest logo I've ever seen on a smartphone. This time around, I'm gonna set up the silver one. I think I did the blue last time around. So let me go ahead and boot this up. So the most exciting one for me is the 120 Hertz display. I like a fast refresh rate. I've told you about that in the past. Getting up to at least 90 makes a difference for my eyes and the general feeling of snappiness on the device. But 120 is obviously a step better. And up until this point, at least in my studio here, it's been really expensive devices only that are shipping with that particular feature above 120 Hertz. Oh, and as far as the Dart charge is concerned at 30 Watts, this will go from zero to 100% charge in about 65 minutes. I mean, look at the package deal. Look at the picture. This is once again for under 300 bucks. You have a fairly decent screen to body ratio over here. Now I'm gonna do what I would normally do on any device that's claiming to have a faster screen refresh, which is head into the settings and see what's enabled by default. And we head over to screen refresh. So by default, they have an auto select setting, which will select the best refresh rate for a particular application. So it would try to gauge, are you using a game or something? In which case it's gonna boost it up. And then in order to save battery life and other circumstances, it may toggle it back to 60 Hertz. Now, of course, that's not what I want. I want the 120 Hertz all the time. In fact, probably the most rewarding part for me of having a fast refresh is just simply sitting there addictively scrolling through my applications, watching them without any type of blur. So let's go ahead and select 120. This device does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So if, 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 the, if a device can handle the faster refresh, maybe this is the one. So immediately now, would you look at me, look at that. I mean, you can't really see it because you don't have enough frames in what you're watching, but I promise you this is buttery smooth and it's not something that any iPhone user has ever experienced. No, it's great. I mean, 120 is great. It's People have this argument and conversation all the time. Do you need it? Don't you need it? Well, we could say the same about every single feature in a smartphone, couldn't we? You could say, do you need all those megapixels? Do you need that wide angle lens? Do you need a decent selfie camera? Do you need a big battery? I mean, we could have this conversation about any feature on a smartphone. So I'm just gonna go out there and say that if I can have it, I wanna have it. All right, period. Now, speaking of the camera, let's boot that baby up. We have a two megapixel black and white lens F 2.4. We have an eight megapixel ultra wide lens with 119 degree wide angle field of view. We have a 48 megapixel ultra high resolution camera with an F 1.8 lens. And there's also a macro lens with a four centimeter focusing distance. You also have something called Ultra Image Stabilization Max, which Realme claims is stable as a rock. Oh, and by the way, actually before I boot up that camera, I just wanna show you real quick this fingerprint scanner. It's surprisingly snappy. And I'm telling you, I've been saying it, the fingerprint is still the way. It's crazy. 2020, the fingerprint is still the way and it became even more the way considering what I told you earlier about the fact that we're covering our faces in 2020 and the capacitive as opposed to the end screen actually in many cases wins for speed. So I kind of miss it a little bit, the dedicated button, whether it's on the back or right inside the power button. They have a nice implementation right here. But let's bring out the trusty plant and the $1 bill here real quick for our photo sample. All right, so I snapped a couple of photos and uh, Dare I say, I'm catching some detail. Uh, look at the fibers. I mean, we have fibers. And look, we're picking up the fonts over here. Legal tender. Look at the fibers in the print. Paper fibers, pulp. Once again, I'll just say it. Sub $300. Look what's happening. We just had this conversation off camera. We're saying, man, you pay less than half the money of a flagship, at least in here in North America, less than half. What percentage of the way towards the flagship are you in terms of performance? It's definitely, you're more than halfway. Let's put it that way. In At least in most smartphone circumstances. So here's what we have for versatility. We have the main cam, we have the ultra wide, we have the first set of zoom, and then we have the secondary zoom. So we have, uh, you know, some pretty decent reach on that thing and uh, and some surprising results. We'll do the selfie as well, okay. Oh my goodness gracious, I am, I'm in beauty mode right now. Like what has happened to me? Who is this person? I am peachy, I am smooth. If you need to use the beauty mode, no problemo, do what you gotta do. I'll take, uh, 
I'll take the pain of reality here. All right, so that's better. I like that. Beard hair count, everything is uh, realistic. Okay, next up, let's try to boot up a little bit of video and see how the audio sounds. And also when we maximize a video, see how the screen deals with it. I have so many people asking me about the PlayStation 5 in real life, in regular life. Yeah. It, not just online, not just messages, things like this. As frequently you know what? It actually, it sounds pretty good. It sounds uh, fairly full. We are. It's been a while. Holy moly. Uh, for good reason. I mean, we got stuff So there you have on. it. The Realme 7 5G. 5G now available in a device with a 120 hertz display, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and a sub 300 USD price point available in a couple of different colors. As mentioned, the mist blue as well as the silver let me know down in the comments which of these two you would select for yourself man the value for money smartphone marketplace keeps staying hot it keeps staying hot and it's good for you as a customer you have more options a greater selection and you end up with better phones for less money